especially after the last one where I got so close and it's been it was such a big thing for me there. Um, yeah, it's got a huge amount of importance, um, especially winning at home. You know, I've got a lot of good support from my friends and family. Everyone's going to be there. Everyone's getting behind it. And we travel all over the world and you might be playing somewhere in America or in Egypt constantly. No one's there with you a lot of the time. It'd be nice to actually have, um, yeah, that, that home support where everyone's there and everyone's behind you. And um, especially playing in Birmingham is exciting. We've got Team Worlds there as well, you know. There's a lot of buzz about it. It's, you know, it's certainly something I'm you know, trying to peak for the best I can. I, I think the coverage is massive. Squash has such a core of fans that, that follow the sport everywhere, but we just don't quite get the reach at times that we need. And the Commonwealth Games is just the perfect time for that. So um, I think we've got a chance to showcase just you know, what it's about. And it, it reaches so many more people. It's on TV. People take an interest that don't normally. And I think we just get, just get the coverage we need more often. So I think it's just a great opportunity for Squash to show you know, what we can do. And hopefully, you know, I think um, yeah, as it, as it goes, people will understand what the sport's about a bit more rather than as it was perceived maybe you know, 10, 20 years ago. So last time we were in the village, obviously, I'm not sure how different that's going to be this year because I think obviously a lot of the planning got cancelled. The village is sort of broken up, so it's going to be different, definitely. Um, yeah, Gold Coast, we were in amongst it with all the athletes there. Everyone had their individual flat blocks. So, you know, Team Wales is staying in amongst the flat blocks. You might be with divers, table tennis players, weightlifters and things like that. So um, and, th and their finals might be on the first day. One of the weightlifters won gold on the first day and we'd, you know, barely even started the tournament and he was done and, and the, you know, and he, was, he was just enjoying the next two weeks with a gold medal and that was just a, such a completely different experience to what we were going through. Um, and you sort of experience that with them, you watch them do it and it's, um, I like follow a lot of other sports as well. So I quite, when, whenever we get a bit of time, I like to go and try and watch other sports, but it's, it's, it's quite difficult because if you're, you know, if you're aiming for a gold medal that week, you're probably not going to be going and watching you know, the boxing, then the weightlifting, then something else. During the day before a semi-final match, you can't do it. So, um, yeah, as much as I'd like to go and see other sports, it's, you know, obviously competing in your events, the first thing. And then if you get a bit of extra time, yeah, I'd like to go and see a few other ones as well. Within the sport, obviously, you've got World Championships, British Open, World Number One, those kind of things that have obviously the most weight in the sport. But I think of an outside reach, Commonwealth Games really, you know, winning a Commonwealth gold medal really makes a difference. Uh, people can understand what that means. People have watched it, you know, growing up in the UK, watching those kind of sports, winning Commonwealth gold, they know what that sort of means. Um, so yeah, it's got a different kind of weight to it than, than normal squash events. But um, yeah, I, I put a huge amount of importance on it. I think all you can do is deal with the pressure you're putting on yourself. I mean, if you've, if I've done the work like I have done and, and you've, you've given up the hours and you've put, you put yourself through it time and time again throughout the season, I mean, you put a huge amount of pressure on yourself and expectation because you know what you expect of yourself. So um, I don't think in that sense it's different to a normal tournament because you've got that. It's just, I think it's more exciting. I'm looking forward to the opportunity to play in front of different people and the coverage being so much bigger. You know, I've got um, a lot of expectation in every match I play, you know, through the season. So um, I don't feel like that's going to make too much of a big difference. Um, but yeah, last time it was all excitement. I was outside the top 10 seeds probably coming into the tournament. Um, got a few big wins in a row and sort of suddenly I was in the later stages and just sort of like playing well and enjoying it. So, um, yeah, I th it, it is slightly different this time, but I don't think it'll, you know, shouldn't make too much difference. I'm looking forward to it. Over the last couple of years, I've enjoyed playing with Tez a lot more. Um, I think to start with, I struggled with the doubles and such a different dynamic. You're so used to an individual sport and the way you, you know, conduct yourself. You, you've got your own idea of what you're doing and you're completely reliant on yourself. Um, so I struggled to adjust the doubles to start with and it's, it's a completely different skill set. Your singles ranking, although it makes a big difference, it doesn't necessarily equate to being, you know, one of the top doubles players and that, you know, you can be frustrated by that at the time. You think it should be like this, but I think you have to view it as quite a different sport and just go in and, and try and get the most out of yourself in, in a completely different dynamic. So I think it helps getting on with someone who, who is someone you get on with. If you're playing with someone where you understand each other a bit better and the more we've played, we sort of, uh, yeah, it's, it's got better over time and stuff like that. And, Tez is such a competitor. She's a great fighter. She wins close matches. She's, you know, she's competed well on the big stage for years, winning, you know, the bronze medal unexpected last time. So, I think when you've got someone like that, you can rely on and know they're going to be, you know, they're going to be putting in just as much as you are. I think it, yeah, it definitely helps. We've had such a busy season. It's been ridiculously hectic. Um, one tournament into the next, we've had Europeans and World doubles and British nationals on top of obviously all the PSA events. So it's been really busy. Um, but I've tried to set aside about a month going into the Commonwealth Games really just to try and peak for that. Uh, we haven't got a summer training as such really like normal normal summers you might have eight, 12 weeks gap. Um, yeah, and this time we've got four weeks going into it. But yeah, it's, it's, it's really exciting, isn't it? We had, um, had such a great time on the Gold Coast, such a big experience for me at that point uh, in my career. I really needed that 
really showed me what it was like playing in front of you know the crowds there, the pressure, the excitement, sort of the buzz around the event. Um, yeah, and playing at home is exciting for me. I've been in Birmingham coming up for ten years now. Um, load of support from all the clubs. It's, you know, I, I enjoy playing there. I like it. So, you know, there's going to be a load of home support, and yeah, I'm looking forward to competing there.